hello guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm doing my table at last after researching and waiting for a year to have the energy to paint the table so i wanted to do this for over a year but you know what the process of painting a big table seemed so big and so long until i came across chalk paint and chalk paint says all you need to do is just wipe clean the table and then you don't need to sand and just slap the paint on so that is the method you see the cloth that i used to clean the table before i started painting it i waited for it to dry properly and that is the paint that i used and this paint is quite nice each tin was around 12 pounds so it's, it's a bit pricey i thought because i didn't want to spend over 500 pound buying a new table I thought I'm going to spend good money on good paint. The table doesn't look that bad, but trust me, when you see your face to, wait, to face, it just, 80 years of using it with kids, yeah, it needed a bit of new life. The reviews from this paint, it says it's quite hard to work with, and it's true, the paint is quite sticky. Halfway, halfway painting the table on top only, my wrists were hurting. It's very sticky and... You know, but I had done a lot of research and it says you have to move quite fast with the brush because the paint dries very quickly. So I thought, you know what, I've done all the research I need to do. Let me go ahead and do what I need to do. <laughs> paint the table. Okay. You know, I'm talking gibberish. But yeah. Mm. Guys. So this is the first coat, it's a bit late so the lighting is not that great but you can see the up close, yeah not bad, don't know here why, you can see this is where I started off, so yes I didn't do enough coverage because compared to here it's kind of different, yeah. So let me start the second cut. But yeah, looks different. <laughs> yeah, but I'm hoping. This is the second coat after four hours of waiting for the first coat to dry. Yes, four hours is too long, guys. Second coat. Move a bit close. Well, I don't know. I'm in two minds. I'm in two minds. I don't know if I like it as much as I thought I would like it. You know? Oh, I don't know. So I'm going to do one more coat. It's grey. And it's like, um, I'll show you the colour of grey. Actually, it's better in this light because the grey comes out a bit better. So I forgot to show you the color before. And I thought I will use one coat. Sorry, not one coat, one tin. But this is it. That is the color, that type of a gray, whatever that is. Flit. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I'm in two minds. <laughs> I can't go back now, can I? Oh. Oh, I'm worried. I'm worried that I'm not going to like it. Oh, this is a bummer. I know. I also made sure that every part of the table that I painted, I gave it three coats. And again, in, be in between the coats, you need to wait for four hours for them to dry, which was a bit tedious and took a total of three days. But I could see that the table was looking as good as I pictured it in my mind. So yeah, I was happy. And uh, the other thing, what it, I don't know, I think I should have used a roller on top of the table. Looking back now, yeah, one of those things. Okay guys, this is it. 
third coat is finished. Yes, I like it. Yeah. My mind has changed. It looks superb. Really, really nice. Oh. So what I'm going to do now is to put on the uh, wax. For waxing, I did three coats, one hour in between. And it says you need to leave it to cure for 72 hours at least because I've got kids. I need to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a cover over it. So I let it cure for about seven days. The longer, the better. Guys, this is the finished product. The table is nicely done. I can't believe it turned out very, very good, very well. So I'm so happy. This was the idea behind me buying the mustard chairs and the gray one because you know guys I love color so I think when our sitting area slash dining area everything is done during the renovation it's gonna turn out great but this is the start and that yellow that no yellow that is that kind of a mark basically what happened when I was about to wax it I scratched it so I was like oh so I had to paint over it but now it's showing but that is not a big deal to me I know some people like perfection I'm not a perfectionist so that I could sort it out later on maybe in six months I'm gonna um, put another coat on on top only just to cover it up but I'm, I'm just not asked to do this again now not currently but how look does that how good does that look come and take it looks so good especially when the chairs are all together the color I can see how everything is gonna turn out when the walls are done and painted and the floor is done as well all the laminated floor is gonna be taken out back to bare wood oh it's gonna turn out lovely guys thank you for tuning in I'll see you in my next video take care bye bye